Welcome to the woods. There should have been a really upbeat video. But this morning, three people were murdered, more injured in Nottingham in the UK. Stabbings, people being run over. And they are. Uh, they haven't released the name of, of the of the person they've got in custody. But we can speculate that this mass murder, this hideous crime, is just more of what we're being told is an everyday occurrence in this country. So firstly, I offer my condolences to the families of the victims. And now I'm going to tell you that they're right. This is becoming an everyday occurrence. This is becoming common. That our people are mown down, going about their everyday lives, being stabbed. And it's going to continue. And it's going to get worse. And we can shout and protest. And we can try everything we've tried in the past to change the direction and we'll have the same amount of success as we've had in the past. None. This isn't a hiccup. This is just part and parcel of what they have planned. If it's not the government terrorizing you, locking you in your house, forcing God knows what into you. It's terrorists running through the streets, stabbing people. Driving through crowds of women and children. It's all part of what they have planned. That's how you're expected to live. Confined to your 20 minute hell. Surveilled 24 seven. Laws being passed to criminalise protesting. Laws being passed to criminalise speaking. Laws even being passed to criminalise thought. And the reason they have to pass these laws and enforce these regulations is because what they have planned is abhorrent. 
No one would choose to live like that. So they have to enforce it. Cold because you can't afford to heat your home. Hungry because the ever increasing food prices make it hard to feed yourself. If you step outside, you don't understand what anyone's saying. We live in a lonely, atomized, individualistic, hell. People are lonelier today than they've ever been. Not by accident, because that's what they've designed. They attacked every structure of community that we had. And they'll make you think that it's impossible to do anything about it. They're shutting down farms so that we're reliant on other nations for our food, for our energy. This country should be self-sufficient. It could be, but that's not what they want. And as I said before, we've tried for a hundred years to change this through the political means available to us. There is no political answer. We need to try something new. We need to come together because they hate it when we do. The whole system is broken beyond repair. It's dangerous. No amount of tinkering round the outsides is going to fix it. And I don't propose we oppose it or fight it. Simply build our own. And that starts with the very first step, which is coming together, all of us, not as a political movement or a party. Politics is shut off from us. I don't care what your political ideology is, has no bearing on our future. But if you understand what's planned for us, for you and for me, then you'll know we need to come together and we need to start again. Tomorrow, the 
Woodlander Initiative goes live. The website with the information on how it's structured, what we plan to do, will be up and running. I'll leave a link in the description. As bleak as that future they paint for us is, there is nothing, nothing stopping us creating our own path. A better future based on our traditions and culture and heritage and family and community and fraternity where we help each other, where we look out for each other, where we build things together, where we build businesses, where we build homes. And people have said, what, why are you buying land? What good will that do? On every metric, that makes sense. Why do you think they're trying to stop you having access to land? Why do you think they want you restricted to a 20 minute area? It's our land. We're going to need it. We're going to need it to grow food. We're going to need it to live on. We're going to need it to walk in, to relax in. This is our land. It's part of us and we are part of it. And it starts with that. It starts with community. It starts with us taking back our land, taking back our freedom for a better, future. This morning goes to show what it's going to be like. If that's the country you want your children to grow up in, fair enough, fair enough for you. But for me, I've got to do something. So please, tomorrow, get on that website. The first step is join. That's community. The next step is we raise some money and buy the land throughout the country where you can access it, where you live. And we'll decide what we do with it. The first thing is, they can't have it. No multinational globalist corporation buying the land so they can offset the carbon and continue business as usual whilst you're confined to a concrete 20 minute hell. No. It starts tomorrow. Do you know what? Someone said to me the other day, they said, uh, what is it you believe in? And I had to stop and think. And it's easy to say, I believe in freedom. The one thing they're trying to take away. The freedom to be able to live a normal life in a normal country. The freedom to be able to work and have a decent pay 
where I don't need to use a food bank. We know it can be better. We know that politics isn't going to be the answer. More than anything, I believe in you. Together, there isn't anything we can't do. So here's to the 14th people. Here's to the beginning. Together, we'll make it work. Speak to you soon.